Very excited about today's video. Well, I'm excited about all videos, especially ones where I announce that I'm getting sued. But this one is slightly less fun uh, than a nationally coveraged court case, which of course is that we have discovered a trend in Friendly Geordie's speed time. Two months old, which is that people get this computer program. You type in whatever you want, and then it meshes together that idea, much like your subconscious does when it's dreaming. So just imagine that this is the AI version of... Ah, mm, mm, mm. oh, Susan Lee, but she's a... I think that is just a photo of Susan Lee, but you get the idea. What you do is you usually type in Susan Lee and frog and then... Oh wait, that actually is Susan Lee as a frog. Well, look, sometimes we're just gonna have to be a little more creative, all right? And come up with something along the lines of Susan Lay and human being. And then we'll see what that one looks like, all right? This is gonna be a great show. And we are going to also be asking you for your recommendations afterwards. So first off, let me just play around with it. You watch, you you pay me in ad rev to uh, watch me have fun. And then you come up with more ideas for me to have fun with. Okay, is that the deal? Good. Well, let's just roll the intro. All right, so here's how it works. Yeah, It works a lot like Doctor Who or Star Trek for me because I can just, yell out things into the- oh, actually, that's not futuristic at all. I just live so far in the past, I don't know that Siri exists, but, uh, computer, I remember Dave Hughes once saying, I had a bad time in school. People figured out that Hughes rhymes with poos. So they used to always say, oh, it's Dave Poos. And I was like, I'm not even pooing. So can we do that? Dave Hughes is a piece of poo. And they send it to him saying, here's you. Just because we're trying to mess with people's minds here of, no, my deepest fear. Oh, Pooh's banned. Well, this is off to a good start. God, all right, let's move on to a really easy one. I've always wondered if Munks the Scream would look better if it was Macaulay Culkin. Okay, it's currently generating. Really does look like when you first take off the bandages in one of those 50s movies where your eyes have been out of commission and it's just like, I think that was the man that murdered me and no, that looks way scarier than the original. If that ends up in the New South Wales Art Gallery, I mean, I know they've been flogging a dead horse for a while, but defund arts, all of them, that can never exist. It looks like if Macaulay Culkin was playing Romper Stomper. You know what I always thought would be really weird? You know that footage of North Sentinel Island when you first see those natives that haven't had any contact with the outside world ever? What if Pope Benedict XVI was there? These are actually cool. I thought that that would look weird, and it does, but I want that up on my wall. That's the best piece of art I've ever seen. There is one where Pope Benedict looks to be a babushka doll walking along a barren North Sentinel Island, and fair enough, I would be terrified of that as well. I would run for the hills if I saw that entity. Especially when you've never seen clothes before, and then the fanciest clothes on earth, the one that you'd be freaked out at if he was walking down the street. We're like, oh, f it's Pope Benedict. Now that's beautiful. It looks like he's got a bunch of freedom fighters that he's grown in the soil to protect him in his holy mission of spreading Christianity to the last lands that have not heard of it. Computer, more detail. It's probably a cool way of saying that. Mm, whatever. I, I think this computer program knows what I'm talking about. Yes, no one knows that there's a person here. It's the same trick that they used to have on all those kids shows with the computer made out of cardboard. <laughs> Let's go to the moon! Actually, could we make that a picture? Me dying on the moon without a helmet? I mean, it's such a horrific death! Let me just see what that looks like. Let me see if that fortune teller's premonition was correct. We had gone to the moon. We had gone to the moon the night. Well, that didn't work too well, so let's just go to some pre-planned ones. Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with alphabetical order. Barnaby. Okay, that one is Barnaby Joyce as a tomato. Extremely accurate, very little tomato in him. The only thing that I honestly think is the tomato part is his hair. His hair is not green. Then again, he might have dyed it to go covert in a protest. <laughs> well, that one is terrifying. 
That should be hung up of him in Parliament, purely so we can signify that, yes, this is no longer a species of exclusive Parliament. If you are or do share the genetics of something that is sold at Coles, you can be the leader of a major party. The lips that are teeth. Neo Rudd. Let's see what that is. It is a palate cleanser and... Mr. Friendly. <laughs> I don't know why he's got these kind of like... Cats the musical whiskers at the bottom. That part freaks me out a lot. But yeah, all in all, if you told me that that's Kevin Rudd, I would say... Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I can, I can see it, I guess. Well, I think everybody wants to see this because it's the truth. Harold Holt abducted by aliens. F***ing hell. No hand. His eyes are all wonky and one's been smashed in from his eye socket. He obviously put up a struggle with the aliens and then they just whacked him in there. Said the same thing Spaniard would when he's mugging a 12 year old. Resistance is futile. And then for some reason, they've doubled him up and they've got a little teeny clone of him, I suppose. This must be the trademark of aliens when they're abducting someone. Just chuck out a decoy just in case a Japanese sub wanted to pick him up and abduct him as well. And so that's why we have these two competing stories. It was the aliens all along. I know that this one really isn't going to be the most popular one because far from it was he the most popular Prime Minister we ever had, but I liked the verboseness of A1 Malcolm Turnbull I. See, look, I don't even know if this has been through the generator. That just is how Malcolm Turnbull dresses. Go look at him in the Murdoch parliamentary hearing and he was sitting there saying, well, I just found it quite unsporting of Murdoch to be on my side and then switch it halfway through. It was almost as if he was hunting with the hounds and running with the foxes, of which I, of course, am very familiar with. <laughs> okay, what about this? John Howard as a bodybuilder. <laughs> it appears that John Howard as a bodybuilder is just Tony Abbott. <laughs> a little bit older, that's it. But I think the clear winner here, and I really don't know how the computer thought that this was at all acceptable to put our dear Prime Minister, is John Howard's head as the abdomen of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And even more offensive, the back? Look at it, his nose is just a piece of spine that sticks out too much. Scoliosis is just a hurdle. All right, let's do the classic, come on. Daniel, Daniel Andrews, Ash, Ash, elected official. No, no, obviously dictator, come on. What sort of dictator? Oh, well, obviously an African one with the golden glasses. <laughs> that doesn't even finish generating, he's already gold. As gold as the glasses, one would say in some of these portraits. <laughs> in others, they are most certainly not gold. One of them, he looks like he's got those old grandma reading glasses for where they played Scrabble in a retirement home. There always seems to be a pattern with this, the first is best. However, having said that, as also reigns, I do really like that in a couple of these portraits, he has grills. All right, what about this? Anastasia Palaszczuk is a suitcase. <laughs> Why? Why not? Oh my God. It's such a simple task. All you have to do is do exactly what you did to John Howard as a bodybuilder. You just put his face in the object. And then in this one, you put her entire body just over the front of it like it's a sticker on a suitcase. All right, this one has to happen. One for the fans. Mark McGowan as the God Emperor in Warhammer. Oh man, all of these are cooler than the God Emperor and Mark McGowan. I know that's... Heresy! I think that's 99% God Emperor. That's even more God Emperor than the 40k one. You nerds happy about that? That is 1% Mark McGowan in there. Maybe. Look at him. The sun is his crown. As it is in Western Australia. So it is. There you go. There's your little Warhammer reference for not this video. Oh, surprise, because now we're going to do Sally McManus as a Tau XV-104 Riptide battle suit from Warhammer 40k. God, I'm sad I know that that exists. Well, hello, hello. This has the exact opposite problem. This one is 99% McManus and very little Riptide. You know what she actually looks like? She looks like the chicks in Bubblegum Crisis, but with more religious paraphernalia. Actually, now that it's developed a little more, this is more accurate of me not wearing a helmet in space. Who'd have guessed that the correct way to describe Friendly Geordie's dying in space without space helmet is Sally McManus as XV-104 Riptide battlesuit. I mean, it was so close. Look at that. 
the weight of the universe on her shoulders. <laughs> Here's something that's going to make really cool with Gen Z. Anthony Albanese as a vape stick. And for Christ's sake, when you type in Anthony Albanese's face on a vape pen, you get Nick Xenophon if he was fat. So, you're talking shit about South Australia, are you? No. Good. Don't. Ah, oh, now we're getting close. Yes, who'd have known the long-term effects of vaping? Let's finish it off with some pre whacked snakes. Uh, well, of course, look, we're going to have to go for the Dutton one. Uh, which one did the computer think Dutton would look like? Went with potato with cancer. <laughs> That's really fucked. Vegetables do resemble humans a lot. You know that thing where they say, did you know that you're 50% cabbage? I believe it. That was down the line, 50% potato. Ah, oh, yeah, all right, we've got Dutton as Voldemort, except for he kind of looks like he's been genetically spliced a little bit with felch. No, a lot with felch. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, now that one is spot on. Look at that. Truly a work of art. I am amazed at how good this computer program is at doing whatever it wants to do. It doesn't do, it's, it, it is AI. It's not following our orders at all. It's just saying over and over. I think you meant Nick Xenophon, George. No, I meant Anthony Albanese. I'm sorry, I heard Nick Xenophon. Okay. Well, let's go with Clive Palmer, Jabber. Does he mean uh, Jabber the mid 2000s host on Channel V? No, he means Jabber the heart. And he seems to be sitting on a mound of gold. How appropriate. Yellow background as well. My favorite color. Evidently, as I am wearing a Clive Palmer as a fatty McFucking shirt, but we can't show the F, but you know where to get them. Let's go with King of Beers. Oh, who could it be? Especially when we're relating to Australian politics said, oh yes, of course. Philip Ruddock, what a party out of lag. I know the computer was supposed to be going with Bob Hawke on that one, but unless you typed in Bob Hawke interspliced with an ibis, that is not what he looks like. Uh, no, there we go. Actually, that is exactly what he looks like. All you had to change was the nose and then I'm sold. The man, the myth. Scott John Morrison. Hey, isn't that just a photo? <laughs> no, no, it was uh, it was generated. But uh, that was pretty much just every independent Australia article front cover for about a year straight. It had a lot to work with. No, nah, I don't think you'd be wearing a suit. That's too formal for him. Although, actually, top up. All right, well, this one is just bizarre. This is Flavor Flav and Scott Morrison if he was a mental patient on North Sentinel Island. <laughs> Yo, Skomo, what's going on, G? Well, maybe Flavor Flav is just the king of the North Sentinelese. <laughs> Sentinel boy, North side motherfucker. Well, I really did enjoy seeing what the computer generated, obviously. It was great. It was just inside the mind of what will eventually take us all over and that this is how we will see the world. So get used to it. And I'm saying if you want us to uh, review any or you've got any suggestions for us, let us know because we would really like to see yours so that we can monetize them and turn them into a shirt. Fan favorites always work. Heaps of shirts available at friendlyjoys.com. If you thought that one of those was shirt worthy, let us know, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time with some hard hitting information such as Abby Chatfield. Is she chat? Let's find out. The answer is yes. No, we don't even need to do a video on it. F her. Please share and comment below. Come in.